So your first thoughts are, why do I look like this and what is going on? So first off, it is 2 a.m. in the morning and I don't have a garage and earlier today I blew my diff. This is like my sixth time, I think, taking the diff out of an E36 already. And anyways, I found out what my issue is. So everything else works perfectly fine. This ear is fine. See, like it doesn't move much, but this ear is like gonzos. These bolts right here broke off, as you can see. It's like every other bolt. This one's fine, this one broke, this one's fine, that one broke, and that's what it keeps going around the whole diff. The whole differential is like filled with these little metal shavings. I don't know, I'm gonna need to freaking drain this whole diff and just, <laughs> I don't know, rebuild it or buy a new one. I don't know at this point. It's kind of sad because this is the same diff from the 1996 production year. And this happened because. <laughs> Just at a certain point, the diff just said nope. I don't know if I put this on the channel, but the Bluey 36 actually had the diff blown up as well in it. It had that god awful making like grinding sound that you know that it makes before the diff just goes kablooby. And that's what happened on that E36 as well. And we had to replace the diff on it as well. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to piece it together, wash it thoroughly through, take this diff apart, take that diff apart, and just kind of make one out of two. So our mission is to drain the differential, drain the second differential, take apart this differential, take apart the second differential, and use whatever bits and pieces I can if they work. And after thoroughly cleaning everything, put everything back together, fill this thing up with oil, and seal it back up. And if everything goes as planned, then in theory, we should have ourselves a nice working diff. Freaking 2 a.m. All right, here I have my E36 parts crap. This is the diff from the blue E36. Transmission, stage one clutch, ZHP steering rack, coilovers, manifold, M50. I have a whole freaking E36 back here. You can see what broke is that spindle down there. You see that thing? the camera is gonna focus yeah that crap right there I'm gonna go ahead and get something to drain the oil into and I'm gonna start working I have to talk quietly because it's 2 a.m. oh that's bronze oh my gosh So since this diff is already damaged and broken, what I'm going to try to do is unbolt these bolts right here and just kind of work my way through here just so I can get a general idea of what I'm working with here. That way so that when I get to the good diff that I don't have to mess anything up and I'll know what to be aware of and what kind of to look out for. So let's get started. I'm just trying to be as quiet as I can because again, no garage in any neighborhood. I'm not sure how good that was that I was hitting on these parts right here, on these little, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what these are called. I'm gonna try to be careful on the next diff. And that's this one right here. Okay. All right, let's get it rolling. So from the previous diff, I learned that it's best to hit on these little slots right there because then it's going to separate faster and with less work and actually this one's already popping out simply. That was no work at all. That is embarrassing. Wow, that legit took five minutes to do. Here we can start comparing what needs to actually be addressed, which is on this diff right here, which was my diff. As you can see, there's bolts missing. So this thing went kabloomsy. So basically what I'm gonna try to do then is replace these teeth right here because these have absolutely just been demolished and swap it over.
Okay, so it's two weeks later. It did work. Everything worked out perfectly fine. I already took the car to multiple trips already. I've gone to the beach and back. I've gone to Georgia and back. And each of those are about four hours, give or take, one way. And then four hours back the other way. So that's resulting in about 16 hours already of driving. And that's without town driving and to work and back and stuff like that. Everything's working out perfectly fine so far. So I am a little bit sketched out. I'm a little skeptical that it worked out perfectly because I do hear some sort of grinding or whining noise in the back. But it's nothing too loud, which... I don't know. I'm gonna probably try to redo the fluids in the differential, maybe that'll help, but we'll see. So I didn't get the part where I was kind of assembling the diff and where I was assembling the two little ring gears where I kind of swapped over the rings. You know how these things go with cars, you kind of start getting frustrated when something's not working out and working through the whole night, things definitely start to go wrong and they don't go right at all. So the one of the ring gears, it just flew apart completely and all the clutch discs flew out and that was not fun to chase them all down and find diagrams which for some reason nobody has for E36s so that might be a video that I might do if people are interested in that because it was really hard to assemble a diff without a proper guide to put them together so that's probably what I'm gonna do next so I would like to thank the people that have already subscribed to the channel and keep coming back and watching the videos it means a lot to me and those of you that keep writing down in the comment section down below giving me ideas or giving comments or feedback in general it really helps me out to know what the audience kind of wants and what they want to see next so I appreciate the people that do that so with that said, if you are one of those people that haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and go ahead and click the like button. And I don't know, maybe give me feedback because that really does help me and I want to give good content. You know, it's, it's a good platform to kind of do videos on and I know that a few people already started on it, but I kind of like to give my own spin to these kind of things. So definitely stay tuned for future videos that I might have and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.